screencast is going to quickly show you how to record a screencast directly from Canvas using Screencast-O-Matic. So once you're in your modules page, you can find the module you want to add it to. And if you already have the page, you can click into the page or you can click the plus sign and create a new page or assignment to add your video to. Since I already have the page made, I'm going to go into Screencast-O-Matic. I'm going to come up and hit edit. From edit, I'm going to come to this blue carrot that says more external tools. And I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom to the Screencast-O-Matic feature. Now I have already connected my Screencast-O-Matic account to Canvas. So it automatically brings up my account and all the videos that I have made. If you haven't made a Screencast-O-Matic account before, it'll prompt you to create an account. Once you're in here, you're going to go ahead and hit new recording. A pop-up will come up to give permi permission to launch Screencast-O-Matic. So I'm going to open the recorder. Sometimes this does take a minute or two. So then you'll see these ants, black and white ants around the recording area. So you can notice that where the little white squares are, I can make this bigger or smaller and basically whatever is inside of the ants is what will be seen in your recording. Then you'll see over here you have the option to do your screen, your webcam or both and then make sure to check that your mic is on. From here all you do is click the red record button and it will count down three two one and you can start you can open up a new tab or window and you can be doing your screencast. Then you'll notice there's a pause button. So it allows you to pause and kind of pull up other things and then you can continue to record or you can trash and restart or you can go ahead and hit done and then it will show you some prompts in order to add it to your Canvas page. Um, so I'm just gonna go right here and hit record I am practicing my recording feature. So I could go to a new tab, I could go to Google, I could bring up Pearson, whatever you wanna show the students. Then I am going to go back down at the bottom, I'll see my little window so I can pause. And then like I was talking about here, I can hit record and continue recording. I can play to see what I've done so far. I could trash it to start over or I can hit done. So I'm going to go ahead and hit done. And then you have an option to save, upload, quick share or edit video. A quick share gives you a link that you could send out quickly to somebody. That's usually what I use because I'm sending out how to's. But in Canvas, I'm going to save and upload. From here, it brings up the upload and embed to an LMS. I am going to title it practice. And then I'm going to go ahead and upload it. It does give you some time here where you could quickly quick and drag and make it shorter or smaller. So you do have that option if you know you messed up in the beginning. And you can play to watch it to better help you make these edits. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit upload. Again, depending on how long your video is, is how long this will take. So it's usually best to keep your videos five minutes or below. So if you have a long lesson, you just might break that lesson up into smaller pieces just to help with that. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. It is going to bring up, if I come back to Canvas, here is my video that it's going to add. And this is important right here. You want to change this to large, medium, or small, depending on how big you want it to be on your page. I'm going to try medium. You can also hide the title if you want from the students. You can show controls so that they have the option to play or not play, or I can hide them and it just plays all the way through. You can turn captions on, autoplay. If you have that checked, will the video will play as soon as the students open that page. And then I'm going to go ahead and click embed. So this is the medium size. So if that's too big, then you'd want to choose the small size. So once you have added it, you just hit save and then make sure to go back and publish it later. And then you'll see that it's embedded right on my page. My recording feature. And then I can pause it. 
So that is how you use Screencast-O-Matic to record screencasts directly in Canvas. I hope that helps.